Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 39.63 acre ranch in Wyoming that is just off this paved county road. This is County Road 63, which is also known as Mineral Exploration Road that connects directly to Highway 287, just north of Rawlins. So this is the intersection we just looked at in that image. And then this is the property right here. So from the property to Highway 287, it's only 12 minutes. And that total distance is along this paved county road. And then from 287, that takes you directly south into Rollins and Rollins has a population of about 10,000 people so from the property to Rollins it's only about 27 minutes and then this is a photo of the paved County Road 63 just south of the property and this is an aerial view looking to the southwest and you can see the County Road 63 then winding up and leading here right up to the property Looking at this from the satellite image, we've got County Road 63 right here just south of the property. And then there's this road here called Continental Divide Trail that kind of intersects the southwest corner of the property. So that connects right here to Mineral Exploration Road. And then along the entire west boundary, the property adjoins a section of BLM land, which is 640 acres, one square mile. And then this Continental Divide Trail, you can connect to it and then come into the property this way as well. And here's a topographic map of that same image. The elevation on the property at the high point is around 6,900 feet. And then you have some nice rolling terrain and some seasonal water flow through the east side of the property right here. So here we are expanded on a little further showing you the entire section of this BLM land along the west boundary. As we expand out even further, you can see that just to the north end, you have millions of acres of contiguous public land that extends as far as you can see on a map and even reaches up into national forest areas and there's lots of nearby points of interest including to the north you have Whiskey Peak, the Ferris Mountains which you can see from the property. You have the Pathfinder Reservoir, you have Miracle Mile which is uh, world-class fishing along the North Platte River, then you also have the Seminole Reservoir in State Park, and then the North Platte River down here and then here's Rollins and Interstate 80. This area is rich in wildlife including lots of pronghorn antelope. This area is considered to be be like the pronghorn capital of the United States are literally just everywhere and you also find wild horses in this area as well. This was a pronghorn antelope actually on the property the other day when our photographer was out there. There were also some cattle grazing in the area nearby. And there were also fresh wildlife droppings and tracks on the property. So this view is from the property looking towards the ridges along Highway 287 going south into Rollins and then here you can see some of the native vegetation along the rolling terrain on the property. Here Here's the path of the seasonal water flow. And then here's another photo kind of standing in the path of the seasonal water flow. So this would be when there's a snow melt or some rains, which is going to be also a magnet for wildlife. And here's another photo looking at the you know, gently rolling terrain and the big skies. We are looking northeast from the property at the Ferris Mountains. Then here's another aerial view looking, this is towards the west now, at County Road 63. You can see the photographer's truck right there parked along the paved road. And then here's a ground level view of County County Road 63 and then this is the Continental Divide Trail that runs through the southwest corner of the property. Here's another aerial photo over the County Road 63. You can see there's a landowner to the south that they have uh, some mobile homes on their property. You can see some landowners over here. They've developed their properties. This one looks like they have a corral with some animals there. A lot of the landowners here use their properties for grazing cattle. They have horses, other types of livestock. This is an aerial photo looking north along the path of the the seasonal water flow which you can also see some of that rolling terrain. There were some survey markers on the property and some native flowering cactus in bloom. This is one of the neighbors to the south. So these are Google Earth terrain views. This is south of the property looking north. You can see the County Road 63 right here and then like this is the path of the seasonal water flow. Here's Continental Divide Trail. Over here would be all that BLM land the property adjoins. Now we're southwest of the property looking to the northeast. There are the Ferris Mountains. Now we're west of the the property looking east. This is where the County Road 63 then comes down and intersects with Highway 287 right down here. Now we're northwest looking southeast. This is north of the property looking south. Now we're northeast looking southwest. This is east looking west. And now we're southeast looking northwest. This gives you a real good indication of just how close you are to that paved County Road 63. And then also the path of that seasonal water flow through the property which creates some really nice rolling terrain. Now several of the the nearby landowners have developed their property.
properties with homes, um, mobile homes, cabins, accessory buildings. They have corrals, things of that nature. And we have some of those circled right here. And, and also we have them here in relationship to the public land. We'll take a look at some of these. These are the mobile homes just to the south of the property. We have some other landowners that have ranches established. Here we have a photo of the rooftop of one of these properties. You can see that almost all of them have corrals. This appears to be a nice big newer home. You can see their uh, accessory building here with maybe these are solar panels on it. Here's another neighbor to the south that we looked at. This area is desirable for hunting and we have some maps here from the Wyoming Game and Fish Department's website. So this property falls under area 61 for hunting of antelope. You're in close proximity to area 17 just to the east which is where there's a bighorn sheep hunting permitted and this right here is 287. So this red line right here this is where the boundary of 287 is. So just to the east you probably all up in the Ferris Mountains is where there's a bighorn sheep hunting. In area 131 for hunting of deer. Area 100 for elk. Area 11 for mountain lion. Area 11 for pheasant. And area 1 for sage grouse. And you're just west of area 5 for wild turkey. As we've shown previously you're only 27 minutes from the city of Rollins which again has a population of around 10,000 people. In Rollins you'll find medical care. This is a photo of Main Street in Rollins where you'll find professional services, restaurants, other types of businesses. You'll also find building supplies. There's Walmart Super Center in Rollins. So pretty much anything you need you can find there. And then you're surrounded by world-class uh, recreational activities. So you're about an hour and 13 minutes from the Seminole Reservoir and State Park where you'll find the Seminole Dam. This is a photo of the Seminole Reservoir. The Seminole Reservoir is desirable for fishing and boating and water sports. There's 180 miles of shoreline along the Seminole Reservoir. And it's just an incredibly beautiful area. Then you're only about an hour and 45 minutes to the Pathfinder Reservoir. So the Pathfinder Reservoir is 22,000 acres and also desirable for fishing, boating, water sports, and other types of recreation. In that same area, you'll also find the world-class Miracle Mile along the North Platte River, which is actually a 5.5 mile stretch along the North Platte River, where there's approximately 4,000 fish per mile. And this is the North Platte River's Fremont Canyon, which is another sought-after location for fly fishing. And you're only about an hour and 50 minutes to Casper, which has a population of around 60,000, just under two hours to Laramie, Wyoming, which has a population around 30,000. About two hours and 40 minutes to Cheyenne. Now Cheyenne is the largest city in Wyoming, has a population close to 100,000. And you're about three hours to Fort Collins, Colorado, and just four hours to Denver, Colorado. So we have this 39.63 acres priced at just 19.5. All the property details are listed here on our website, including information about the nearby points of interest, and then the information for the GPS coordinates. We have over 100 images. These images were just taken of the property within the last couple weeks. And then we also have this interactive map. If you'd like to secure this property while it's available, please go to our website and click on this buy now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart, then click checkout. Once you click checkout, this window will appear where you can enter in all your information, then continue through the checkout process. Once the checkout process has been completed, we'll receive an instant notification that your $499 deposit has been made. We'll then take the property off the market, send you over a simple one-page purchase agreement, and arrange for the balance of payment. The remaining balance can be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, credit card, debit card, or any combination of those methods. We make the whole process super simple, and it can be completed in as little as a day. The $499 deposit is credited towards your purchase and we cover all of the closing costs. Because each property is unique, we only have one of this property available. And we sell our properties on a first come first serve basis. So again, if this property fits what you're looking for, I highly recommend placing a deposit to secure the property. If you have any questions, you can contact us anytime. Our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We also have a live chat feature here here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. We try to be available as often as possible. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message and we'll respond to you at our next availability. You can also fill out this contact form on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. And as always, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos and share our properties and our website with all your family, friends, and colleagues. Thank you and have a blessed day.